morning guys Chris VA travels shot down here to Richmond and I'm going to visit Hollywood Cemetery another one of these bone yards there's a Victorian styled house right there that's a private residence but yeah open to the public uh, open from 8 until 5 p.m. and there's where you check in kind of a gothic style looks like that might have been an old church maybe I uh, don't know but yeah I've definitely got my walking shoes on today and a map over here <clears throat> and we are down here I'm gonna loop up uh, check out this Confederate section um, yeah there's a uh, kind of president's uh, row I don't know what you call it president circle uh, James Monroe John Tyler buried here a couple Supreme Court justices a lot of Richmond notables uh, five Virginia governors and this guy here William Smith uh, who was known as Billy extra Billy I did a video on the ruins of his uh, of his uh, office hall plantation out there in King George County so yeah, this thing was established 1847. Uh, over 80,000 people buried here. Um, to give you an idea, I was uh, visited the Fredericksburg National Cemetery about a month ago. 15,000 were buried there, and I thought that place was enormous. Bathrooms right there. And yeah, I like visiting these cemeteries. Um, not for any morbid reasons or, or anything, but it's a uh, it's a good way to walk through the past I'm gonna follow these arrows and to the right here Confederate Avenue and like I say the Confederate sections going to be over here uh, 18,000 Confederate soldiers buried here mostly uh, fallen from the uh, surrounding battles, Cold Harbor and, and whatnot. Um, 3,000 were brought down from Gettysburg a after the war, 1872. Reinterred down here. Yeah, could have parked maybe down there. But yeah, this is place is kind of known for its character, I guess. It's just not your basic, uh, just flat cemetery where all your, uh, all your graves are uh, sitting in a row. And this place, uh, Hollywood Cemetery, got its name because of all the holly trees that were originally on the property. And all right, here's a kind of a famous one. Uh, starting things off, this iron dog over here. Take a look at. So the dog is looking over the grave of a little girl named Florence Reese. She died 1862. Family had her buried here because iron was being confiscated for the war effort, but they knew it would be protected if it was uh, placed here in the cemetery. So, take a walk down here. And I, I can see the giant pyramid back behind the trees. Yeah, like I say, 18,000 Confederate soldiers erected 1869 by the Hollywood Memorial Association. All right, I'm gonna fly my drone around this thing. newer tombstones but yeah 
the Gettysburg dead. I told you 3,000 soldiers moved down here. Yeah, you say Gettysburg dead. Fate denied them victory. Blah, da, da, da. Oh, check this out. George Pickett, Pickett's charge, looking over his men. That's pretty cool. And looks like some family members, uh, wife of George Pickett, uh, Sally. Uh, Colonel over here, Lewis Williams. This over here, Star of David. Uh, Civil War. All right, that was the Confederate section. And I know Jeb Stewart, Fitzhu Lee, uh, several other generals are buried in here. I'm probably gonna have a hard time finding them. Here's the Cabell family. Couple more mausoleums. And let's see, coal. Ooh, it's gonna be a long day, I'm already sweating. It's gonna get up to 90 today. And yeah, I'm following this map kind of hand drawn, but I don't know if you can see the darker line kind of cutting through the middle. That's what I'm trying to follow. All right, found him, Jeb Stewart. And Calvary General, he was 31 years old when he died. That's really young, especially to be a, a general. And you see the horseshoe down there. So buried here with his wife. Flora and uh, yeah he was uh, wounded uh, he died at the Battle of Yellow Springs just outside of Richmond and some family members over here Jeb Stewart the fourth oh he died just a couple years ago and yeah this is still an active uh, cemetery James Taylor and Taylor family over here. All right. Uh, right next to Jeb is this lady, Ellen Glasgow. She was a Pulitzer Prize winning author. Died 1945. Whew. All right, on into the shade. All right, walking by and I saw a tombstone from the Mayo family. Uh, anybody from here in Richmond is gonna be familiar with the Mayo Bridge. Um, they built the original toll bridge back in the day, I think back in the 1700s. Um, big, big family here, early Virginia. And one of their members, I think it was William Mayo, was the one who surveyed the town. It was discovered and chartered by William Byrd but William Mayo is the one who surveyed it. And uh, some of their family members have been Richmond mayors uh, over the years. So keep on trucking. <sighs> yeah, this place is enormous. Uh, I used to think the Blanford Cemetery down in Petersburg was the coolest, sounds kind of weird, cemetery in Virginia but this one's got to beat. 
All right, Eastvale Avenue. I think I'm supposed to go straight. Although the arrow says take a right. Okay, made it. Finally, President Circle. Grave of James Monroe and John Tyler. Pretty good shot of the James River over there, the falls. And yeah, I can already see part of James Monroe's birdcage tomb. Da 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 da. President Circle. Oh, Maury, is this? Yeah, Matthew Fontaine Maury, born in Spotsylvania County, lived in Fredericksburg off of Lower Caroline Street, the Pathfinders of the Pathfinder of the Sea. Pretty neat. Take a closer look here. Died 1873. Yeah, Pathfinder of the Sea, scientist, oceanographer. And he wrote out the first uh, accurate map of ocean currents. And he also invented the torpedo. <laughs> Pretty cool. Born in Westmoreland County, of course, 1758. John Tyler over here. All right, the back of it. Yeah, married twice. Uh, born uh, November 1790. And uh, as I had mentioned, he's uh, still has a living grandson, believe it or not. He was born 1790. Uh, he was married twice and he was having kids with his second wife uh, uh, up until in his late 60s. And then one of his sons had children in his 70s and that son is in his 90s. And he's the only president whose burial wasn't recognized by the government because he had sided with the Confederacy when he died. Pretty neat. Okay, Lion Tyler, his son. over here and get a good view of the James Downtown Richmond. Okay, just left President Circle. I'm going to try and find the grave of Jefferson Davis. Also want to find Fitchu Lee. And there's a couple others. I want to find that guy, Billy Extra Billy, and also Louis Ginter. Um, he's another big uh, figure here in Richmond. I think I'm supposed to be going this way. 
Yeah, there's too many cool looking tombstones to film. And we're at the end of Monroe Avenue. I think I take a right. Bunch of mausoleums over there. All right, so gravesite of Jefferson Davis, a Confederate president. And he was actually, he died and was buried in New Orleans. Moved up here, he was reinterred in 1889. And pretty long political career, a uh, member of the House, he was a senator, secretary of war under Franklin Pierce. Uh, fought, he was injured in the Mexican-American War. And he married the uh, daughter of Zachary Taylor. Daughter of Jefferson Davis. I, I don't know if this is one, uh, but one of his daughters, there was controversy after his death uh, because she married a Yankee, some guy from New York. I think her name was Winnie, but I can't remember. Um, Verina Davis, uh, daughter of the Confederacy. This might have been her, actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Verina and Davis Winnie. Yeah, she was the one. So, and Jefferson Davis lived here in Richmond, of course, uh, during the Civil War. The White House of the Confederacy, uh, further downtown Richmond, you can visit that. And over here, grave of Fitzhugh Lee, uh, cavalry general under Jeb Stewart. He's the nephew of Robert E. Lee. And Robert E. Lee was actually supposed to be buried here, but there were some, I don't know, logistic problems or something with the paperwork. I, I don't know, but they wasted too much time. And then he was uh, buried out there at Washington and Lee. Wife of Fitzhugh Lee. Oh, That's pretty cool. Korean War, okay. One of his descendants died in 2000. Yeah, here's his son. Son and, uh, I guess, daughter-in-law. And George Mason Lee. I assume maybe same family as uh, the George Mason. Yeah, so anyway, um, pretty good shot. Downtown Richmond. All right, found it. Kind of can't miss it. The Lewis Ginter Mausoleum. Lewis Ginter is a successful businessman down here in Richmond. He's the one who kicked off the tobacco industry. He was the first to sell prepackaged cigarettes. It was right after the Civil War. And uh, he donated a, a lot to the city. Um, he helped fund the, uh, the Jefferson Hotel. Uh, donated 1.5 million dollars uh, to the city, which was a healthy chunk of change at, at the time. And these are going to be Tiffany windows. Um, lights kind of not hitting them right over here. Uh, just a little bit over here. Uh, yeah, let me um, take a look inside. And you might be familiar with the Lewis Ginter Botanical Gardens here in town. And yeah, you can see this casket in there. Died 1897. Ginter Avenue. All right, I decided to walk down here. It looks like a lot of these are recent. I'm seeing 2020, 2013, 2016 in this Palmer Chapel. Okay, he's the president, or was the president, cemetery. Oh yeah, it feels good in here. 
Again, these are all more recent. Railroad tracks down there, the falls. All right. Over here, giant southern magnolia. Might be the biggest one I've ever seen. Well, there's probably bigger ones out there, but um, yeah, over 2,000 trees back here. Uh, a lot of white oaks, um, a lot of tulip poplar. Okay, walking out of here, I found another section of, of the Mayo family. And this looks kind of like the main section and it's got a lot of the older graves going back to the 17 and 1800s. Yeah, and a lot of these were reinterred. They were uh, buried over there at a plantation at Powhatan. Um, and this is the William Mayo that I was talking about. Surveyed, laid out Richmond. And uh, he also mapped the Barbados and with he and William Byrd, who I'd mentioned, um, they laid out the dividing line between Virginia and North Carolina, also gridded out Petersburg. So, anyway, some Richmond history for you. Okay, walking by and saw this Confederate officer section. Uh, looks like this was put here in 1918. And I just walked back there. I, I didn't see anybody who stood out. Um, I was looking for James Archer, uh, Fredericksburg fame. He was on Stonewall Jackson's line, uh, southern portion of the battlefield. But, yeah, I didn't see him. So, Okay, guys, found it. Billy, extra Billy Smith. And I cheated. I, I got aggravated. Went by the visitor center. I, I grabbed this map. It was a dollar. And uh, yeah, hopped in my ride, smartened up. So there, there's a few I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna check out. So yeah, William Smith, uh, Billy Extra Billy Smith, Virginia governor. He was a Confederate governor. Um, he ran a successful stagecoach line. Um, yeah, so he's on the right. Uh, Elizabeth, his wife, there in the middle, and then Mary. Uh, she died in 1911, so I don't know if that's a uh, daughter, but yeah, his wife right there. Two past midshipmen, and his son died at sea. Oh, another interesting thing about him, he moved out to California during the gold rush, um, practiced law out there, and became success successful. But uh, he was only out there for, for a few years before returning to Virginia. All right, yeah, there it is. So, go find a couple more. Okay, and over here off Randolph Avenue is John Randolph of Roanoke. John Randolph of the big Randolph family here in Virginia. He's the great grandson of William and Mary Randolph. They were known as the Adam and Eve of Virginia. Yeah, and he had a, uh, looks like his remains were moved from uh, out near Roanoke, out in Charlotte County. And uh, apparently a veteran of the War of 1812. But yeah, had a pretty storied political career uh, in the House. He was a senator. He was a speaker for Thomas Jefferson, minister uh, to Russia uh, under Andrew Jackson. Yeah, so, all right. And right across from the Lewis Ginter Mausoleum, you've got the grave of Hunter Holmes McGuire, physician. He was the surgeon that amputated Stonewall Jackson's arm. Uh, he later became head of the American Medical Association. So I'm going to get out of here. That's going to be it for Hollywood Cemetery. 
word of advice, buy the map in the visitor center. The one I had printed off online wasn't very good. Um, bring your walking shoes. Um, if you just want to hit the hot spots, you can drive, but it's a pretty tight squeeze when passing other vehicles. Some pretty narrow roads back there. All right, it's going to do it. Um, as always, like and subscribe. See ya.